This is unverified still at this very moment. John. Kelly, why is the president calling Black Lives Matter a symbol of hate? Well, what the president um, was noting is that uh, that symbol, um, when you look at some of the things that have been chanted by Black Lives Matter, like pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, um, that's not an acceptable phrase to paint on our streets. Look, he agrees um, that all Black Lives Matter, including that of Officer David Dorn, Patrick Underwood, two officers whose lives were tragically taken amid these riots. All black lives do matter. He agrees with that sentiment. But what he doesn't agree with is an organization that chants pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, about our police officers, our valiant heroes who are out on the street protecting us each and every day. Americans of all races have protested in all 50 states uh, around that phrase, Black Lives Matter. And the president is here calling it a symbol of hate? He's talking about the organization. Um, I would note to you that the greater New York BLM president has said, if this country doesn't give us what we want, that we will burn down the system. And I could be speaking literally. I'd call that a pretty hateful statement. Wait, Kelly, yes, Ben. He's talking about the organization in his tweet. He says yes, the words. Ben. He says the words. Which, Black Lives what's Matter. What's the name of the organization again? Black Lives Matter. There you go. You that, just the, answered the, my the, question. Go ahead, Ben. Thanks. The first question I have is two questions. The first is, on Monday, the president went after stripping racist names on buildings. On Tuesday, he went after a rule to combat racial segregation. And then today, he said that he described the words Black Lives Matter as a symbol of hate. Why is he digging in on race in this way? So first, I mean, if you're saying that the fact that he does not want to rename um, our bases, um, if you're considering that racist, then apparently 56% of America is as well, because 56% of America is against changing the name of U.S. military bases. Um, he believes that our young men and women who left these bases overseas, many of whom lost their lives, and the last thing they saw was being on one of these military bases, that they should not be told that the base that they they trained in, it, the last place they saw on American soil was a racist institution. And that's a proposition the vast majority of America agrees with. Including him saying that the words Black Lives Matter, as you've noted, has been chanted in 50 states. Why is he saying that that's a symbol of hate, uh, uh, in, on top of all the other things that he's done just this week alone in terms of race? Well, is pigs in a blanket fry them like, like bacon racist? I mean, is that is that hateful? That is a hateful thing to say, I would argue. I, I would think the vast majority of America would agree with that, too. I think the vast majority of America would think it's hateful uh, to say that we will burn down the system, and I could be speaking literally. I think the vast majority of America would agree with him yet again that holding up a severed pig's head uh, is unacceptable. He, you're not going to engage on that. I have a second question. Since I did not, engage on that. The, the second question I, I engaged is, on that, Yamish, and I said we agree. All Black Lives Matter with that sentiment, but we will not stand with an organization that exhibits that kind of hate against our police officers. The second question is, what does the president have to say to military service?